Welcome back to TEW 2016 Branding Solutions and this is actually Extreme Rules. I messed up the video and I had already started the game when I put the video together. So we're going to score this Extreme Rules slash Backlash, even though Backlash is the next pay-per-view. And we start with our pre-show matches where we have Jay Lethal versus Lance Rush. A nice simple pre-match show, two guys who are actually very very good workers. Now I'm still working out which one I will be pushing. Uh, the next match is Mercury Rising, which Bailey and Oscar versus Emma and Summer Rae. Bailey's head and shoulders above the rest. And this is a slow build for Culture Club to be a real tag team at the moment they're face hill and I just want to improve Summer a little bit more before we decide whether we turn Summer face or Emma Hill Andre Cool loses to Damian Sandow and he got a strain I'm not sure how serious that is we'll see and we have Nikki Bella versus Natalia, and Nikki Bella wins. Get, at last, somebody Nikki has chemistry with. It's good to see. 56 is a great match. And a new debut to the person here. But we have Sasha Banks defeating Stacey Frazier, and Frazier only got 26. Pretty poor. Saving Sasha for the upcoming matches. Now going into the main show, we just have a video package for all the big match names. We have Seth Rollins, Daniel Bryan, The Rock, Ray Wyatt, Adam Cole, John Cena and Charlotte and Paige. They are the matches that I believe are the best on this card. We start with John Morrison defeating Rusev to become the United States Champion. And the main reason I've done this is because I think Morrison is going to work a lot better with other people. And I want to push Rusev into the main picture. I've got nothing against him having this level. But I think he will be a good monster hill for the likes of Cena and Daniel Bryan to play off on the main card. Rather than just be mid carders trying to take his title. And obviously if I go for my big plan to eave the, the men off this show, I need to boost some of the mid-carders to go to the other shows. Bray Wyatt cuts a promo on The Rock, promising his demon will be arriving tonight. And we all know The Rock has these um, challenges and all the pay-per-views. And what better than to have Bray Wyatt versus The Rock after what happened in real life at WrestleMania. Baron Corbin defeats The Big Show. I I do think Corbin's got potential in real life. The Big Show for me is someone whose contract can be finished with. I don't need him on this show. I don't need him on this game really for where the future is going. He's been a great surfer over the years. But this storytelling, the Big Show doesn't work with many people very well. So I'm going to push Corbin to actually beat the Big Show in a cage match. Next up, this is what I tried last time. Have somebody very popular meet with some of the women wrestlers hanging out. And I throw a load in. I know this isn't going to come off brilliant segment but as we can see we've got four major improvements for the women two debutants got initially above average and the rock looks like a star they all have good morale so this should boost them a little bit we have bad news barrel and cody Rhodes, the chosen ones Defeat John Cena and Adam Cole when Barrett defeats Adam Cole. And this is, again, 
continuing the idea that John Cena cannot get in the ring until he has beaten the Chosen Ones and his tag team partner was the one that let him down so it was built up again we've given Adam Cole a boost working with some of the big names and John Cena continues to stay out of the title picture for now but can still flirt with the rivalry with Seth Rollins Paige cuts a promo about how she's going to beat Charlotte Apollo Crews defeat Sheamus yeah I went the same route as they did and Sheamus is very similar to the big show I don't really know where I can send him he doesn't work too well with the, the smaller guys I have on this card I could put it against John Cena in the future but for now I don't have much planned for Sheamus and Apollo Crews I need boosting a little bit more yeah, much like the feature I did with The Rock, I just slapped Stone Cold in it this time and did some of the hills into it. Again, let's see if they even got boosts, we got three. So this could be something we see on most shows just to boost these so we can have the solo show. This is for the tag team women's tag team championship, which actually got a much better rating than I thought it would. I actually have the Forgotten Generation defeating Bad and Beautiful and Billy Kay finisher is called The Boyfriend Stealer I think um, Billy Ray and Peyton Royce could be great as the old next door tag tag team and against these two we've got the good versus the bad it's perfectly set up the matches are great and I don't care Edge McFurley announced the Money in the Bank Smackdown matches now this is more getting ready there isn't one way of doing one at a time so I've done it like this and Smackdown matches are as follows for the men we got Adam Cole versus Cody Rhodes Andre Cool versus Lance Rush Um, Apollo Crews versus Damien Sandow. Um, Big Show versus Bray Wyatt. Jay Lethal, Aaron Corbin, John Cena, Drew McIntyre. And for the women's, we have obviously Alexa Bliss versus Naomi, Bailey Dana Brooke, Becky Lynch, Angel Williams, Emma versus Summer Rae, which can actually be used as a story time to bring them back into their match to be a tag team Levy Bates versus Nikki Bella and Sasha versus Tamina which will be definitely be the first match for Sasha to get a win now, I've done it that way I think they these are going to be over the next four weeks leading up to the money in the bank we'll probably have two a week two from each segment a week and I pretty much know who I plan on having as the winners so We'll see if injuries don't stop this happening. Um, Charlotte defeats Paige by a submission when Dana Brooke distracts Charlotte Paige. Yes, I want to keep this match going for one more round. And we'll see here that Sasha Banks does save Paige from a beatdown, which leads to Edge booking one more match which will be at the money in the bank but it will be inside a steel cage so uh, only pin and submission basically to stop Dana getting involved this is the match we are going to go for and I think that could be a good match Okay. I'm not sure why I can't put that on there, but never mind. In an exceptional match, Bray Wyatt defeats The Rock. Yes, I did go for it. And he went clean. And post match, 
the demon is unleashed and the demon is Finn Balor. It didn't look great. But this is his new demon. Finn Balor is in the Wyatt Club on this game. Wyatt family. And in the main event, Seth Rollins defeats Daniel Bryan with a pedigree, retaining his championship. Not the best rating for what I was expecting. And post-match, Seth Rollins offers a handshake. Daniel Bryan accepts the shake, but then hits him. And now, this could easily lead to our next match. So I can start with Seth Rollins being angry about this happening. The show got a 78, which isn't as good as the last Smackdown, which is slightly disappointing. <laughs> I would have thought we would have got a lot better. We'll just praise these guys. And um, we'll go out to main screen. And we're back to the main screen, we'll just see what the world thought of the show. The world said it was excellent, which I'm happy enough with. And this is where the negotiation page can get bad. I have to sell another youngster to NXT. Not really got any skills, so isn't really there for much. Look at James. Big show's booking compliant, need momentum. We'll see how bad this injury is for Mr. Sandow. Two days. Is that even worth worth telling me that it was an injury? He is very angry. Should we give him a bonus? See if I can shut him up. Does it work? Uh, one more. One more. If you don't like it, you get one on a day. That doesn't seem right, but. I can. Big sh Seamus is also unhappy. And wants to be in the main event picture. Because somehow Seamus thinks he's a star. They're not working on him either. And Rusev. Something I would love for this game to offer is explaining why you're making decisions. Because this decision was made to actually push Rusev rather than upset him. I want to put him into the heavyweight picture match. The storyline, 68. Uh, it's getting better. That's not worked out as well as I'd hoped. That's, it's cruising a little bit. This has been down a bit, but it won't take long to get back up. And that's solid enough. The showrunners is zero because it's not really being used. Um, the rocks challenge isn't. I might, uh, I shouldn't be on there anymore. I can't use the rock in even them talking about the rock. So that's coming off. Now, who is hot and who is not? Shall we see? AJ, Dean, Seth, Kofi, and Charlotte. Who is not? The usual. Nobody knew on that. And now that's going to be it for the show. And we'll be back for Raw next time. Thank you for watching.